fields are not fields. Um, the definition of a column was that it holds a scalar value, and that's not the same as being atomic. Atomic simply means it can't be decomposed any further. Scalar means it's measured on a scale. And suddenly we get this formal way of looking at data that uh, is a major change from files. Now, all the rows in a table have the same structure, and it's not made up of rows and columns. This is one that I have to, when I'm fighting with spreadsheet people, uh, rows are made up of columns, and then the rows make up a table. It's a hierarchy. It's not a grid. Um, that's one that beginning SQL programmers have to learn. Um, this idea of a scalar value, of actually designing data, as opposed to just finding some way to throw it in and represent it, was another major break. Uh, I've got a, a session on Wednesday on the design of encoding schemes and uh, a, an introduction to uh, the theory. Now, scalar is trickier than you think. Uh, it means that I, I can't pack a lot of stuff in, the, in a field, or I, actually I can pack a lot of stuff in a field, but when something's scalar, it represents a one-dimensional data element. CSVs, the common separated value list, arrays, and those sort of things are not relational. Arrays are not relational. And documents and text are sure as hell not relational. And yet, probably the most important stuff you need for your business is in text. I'm sort of a fanatic about text. Why? Because that's where the legal stuff is, and the contracts, and the real information, the things you couldn't quite encode. How many of you ever took a uh, course on text processing? We don't teach it. You'll learn to handle file systems, you'll learn uh, our DBMS, you'll learn some data modeling, but uh, the only group of people that actually get classes on text handling are lawyers. Lexis and Westlaw are now required courses for law school. Uh, maybe, while well, it's, you know, don't tell mother, she'd be so ashamed, maybe it's time to hang around the lawyers and the people that, and librarians and people that do text searches and uh, learn something about what.